morning guys another early morning I uh, got up at 4 30 and got my run done so it's time to get some work knocked out yesterday this is kind of where I left off a little behind the scenes action there I tidied up this rope that Willow so graciously donated from her iron workers I don't know not tying or not tying teaching rope she's got a whole bunch of it but it's a really nice rope i figured it worked good for this and then uh i think this is how i'm gonna connect the awning when it's closed and then i've got to contend with the wiring today so there's really no good way to film the wiring um i can walk kind of walk you through at the end when I'm done with it but it's kind of a boring thing to film uh, basically I'm gonna tie wrap it to the strut rack off to the sides there and then go up onto the roof under the existing panels and then I have some extension wires this is 20 feet I'm gonna cut it in half there's plenty of room in that box up there um, to land that on the bus bars that I created if you go back in my build series to the initial solar panel installation you can see that and then the other thing I'm going to do today is build a little a little shade cover for that gap right there and I think I found some sheet aluminum that I have laying around that I'll use instead of stainless uh, what else can I tell you oh I may try to monkey around with these adjustment well I may try to adjust the brackets here a little bit to see if I can get the awning to close down further I'm not sure since this is an odd it's not really a triangle it's an odd shape you see because you've got the cantilever coming off and then the wall sits further back than that so it's really hard to do calculations on it to try and figure out where it goes I definitely have to move the brackets that are on the wall down a bit and uh, these are 185 pound struts and so I ordered the 200 pounders as well to see if that makes a difference. I don't know. Anyhow, we'll just move along and get this project going. Let's get started.
All right, guys, check this out. I got everything done that I wanted to. I wired the panels. I got the little additional awning on the roof there so that we have shade and protection from the rain. I'm not worried about that gap yet. Um, I, I do have some aluminum. I can add a strip of aluminum between those panels if we need to, but I'm just super happy and, and stoked that this worked out really well. Got plenty of clearance for the door to open. Right there. That's normally where we have it open to anyway. Uh, oh, this is going to be really hard to tell. In fact, you're not going to be able to tell anything. But I did hook the wire the panels up and uh, I tested them and they are putting out voltage. Let's see if I can get to the screen where it shows the voltage that they're putting out. Yeah, they're at 35 volts. Thirty-four point nine volts. So that's all six panels combined parallel. Wow, that's fantastic. That's nominal power on these. Anyhow, and then let me show you. I moved the brackets around. So, and I'm really pleased with the way that this turned out. It, it made a huge difference. I'll show you guys how this closes up. And it's a lot easier. It's not fighting with me when I pull it down. Uh, but yeah, let me show you guys. Okay guys, check this out. I'm really happy with this. Isn't that awesome? Look at how nice and tight it sits against the truck. Really happy with that. I'm afraid if I go all the way down, it's gonna pop the ends off. I had it do that once already, but I'm gonna take this. That is a huge win for me, uh, based on the length of strut that I got. And if you go up to the next size strut, it's like an extra $75 or something like that. And I wanted to stick with this size of strut. So yeah, I'll take that. That's, that's a win for me. So yeah, cruising down the road, driving like that. We get to our camp spot, then we set up. get the idea you put the ladder up and then we're good to go I am gonna put those 200 pound struts on just to give an ex it's got an extra 15 pounds of pressure in it and I think that'll push the panel up just like a couple more inches and then we'll have a, a spare set of uh, the lesser pressure shocks that we can carry around but this is a win for me I, I really like it if you guys uh, learn anything or you like this video give me a thumbs up if you're not subscribed yet, I'd love to have you as a subscriber. You're gonna to wanna to stay tuned. Now, I do all of my installs in the build series, but I do all of my testing in the Adventures with Able series, and we might have a couple videos coming up here soon. So you'll wanna stay tuned and check those out. I got one more big thing that we'll be working on probably this next weekend. 
Um, and it's kind of a continuation or the third modification to a system on the truck that I put a Band-Aid on, a $500 Band-Aid on, and it got us by for a little bit, but now it's time to go to the real deal, and you have to stay tuned to see what that is. But other than that, I hope you guys are staying safe, taking care of each other, and as always, I will catch you next time. See you later. Bye-bye.